The world is split up into continents, there are seven in all. And if you get the gist, we're gonna make a list from biggest to small. They are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world lives here, but whatever. And I am Africa with desert for miles, and my Nile is the longest river. North America, start down in Panama, wide open spaces all the way to Canada. I'm South America with animals below, where the rainforest grows, cause the rain really pours. I'm Antarctica, and I'm totally ours. And I'm Europe, you're welcome. For the pasta, pizza, waffles, and fries. I am Australia, some call me Oceania. I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to ya. We are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Okay, Gesters, so today we're going to learn about South America. And when we read the story today, we're going to learn about what makes South America so special. What is different about South America than, than North America? What things do they have that we don't? And when we read today, we're going to practice identifying the main topic. The, the main topic is what the book is all about. What the book is? You got it. Now, before we read the book about South America, I'm going to see if you can help me identify the main topic in different books. We look at the title and the pictures to help us identify the main topic. The title is Giraffes. I see a photograph of a giraffe. Inside, I see more photographs of giraffes. And there are facts about them, like that they have spots, and their spots can be different colors. The main topic of this book is giraffes, because on every page it teaches us something about giraffes. Let's see if you can help me with the next one. This book is called Things That Go. Your turn. Good reading. I wonder what the main topic of this book is. Remember, main topic is what the book is all about. So we think about the title, Things That Go. We look at the pictures or the photographs and the words. Okay, it says cars, airplanes, and boats, and more. Here are many things that go. Bicycles, different types of cars. What do you think is the main topic of this book? What this book is all about? What do you think is the main topic? Kipsters, you got it. The main topic of this book is things that go and different things that move. When we read this book today, you're going to think about what is the main topic. The title is South America. Your turn. Oh, I see on the front cover there are some animals that I haven't seen before. I hmm. wonder if those live in South America. Welcome to South America. South America is a continent. It has 12 countries. Remember friends, a continent is a huge area of land. The largest pieces of land on earth are continents. There are seven. South America is the yellow continent on the map. Let's sing our continent song, ready? Asia, Africa, North and South America. Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Now we learned that this is South America, the yellow continent on the map. We live here in North America, and South America is right below us. People and places. The Amazon rainforest is in South America. 
It is the biggest in the world, and people use the plants for food and medicine. Native people live in the rainforest. They hunt, fish, and farm together. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Llamas help people carry things up and down the mountains. Oh, I bet that is a llama, which is the same animal on the front cover. Oh, what do llamas help people do? I'm going to read it again. Llamas help people carry things up and down the mountains. What do llamas help people do? Yeah, they help people carry things up and down the mountain. So they might put like a bag or a saddle on here where they can carry different things. South America has deserts. They are hot and dry. Some of the driest places on earth are in South America. Huh. When I think about the main topic, I'm thinking about what are these pages teaching me about? Oh, my favorite. Amazing animals. The rainforest is home to many animals. Monkeys live in the trees. This animal is called a howler monkey. Parrots live in the trees too. They eat fruit and seeds. This type of parrot is called a scarlet macaw. And the caption at the bottom says they live in pairs, which means that two, pair, two of these macaws live together. Pink dolphins swim in the rainforest rivers. They catch fish with their long snouts. Whoa, have you ever heard or seen a pink dolphin? Whoa, South America is pretty cool. Now friends, a snout is a long nose on an animal that sticks out. So we just learned that the snout of a pink dolphin is what they use to catch their fish. Friends, what type of animals live in South America? I'm gonna turn back the pages so that you can see. When you see the animal that lives in South America, shout it out. Pink dolphin, good. Parrot or scarlet macaw. Howler monkey. Llama. Good job, Kipsters. All right, let's keep thinking about what this book is all about. Visit South America. Many people visit South America. They come to see where people lived long ago. This photograph is of Machu Picchu. Say Machu Picchu. This is in Peru, which is a country in South America, and it's a very old city where people used to live, but they don't anymore. They ride boats through the rainforest on the long Amazon River. This is the Amazon River, and it is the second largest river in the world. Whoa, so big. They come to see South America's busy cities. Would you like to visit South America someday? Sao Paulo, Brazil is a busy city in South America. Wow, look at all those people out in the city. Meet a jaguar. Jaguars are big cats. They live in the rainforests of South America. Jaguars are good swimmers. They love to play in the water. Mother jaguars teach their cubs how to hunt. So... At the beginning, I wanted to know, what did this book teach you about? Huh, what's the main topic? Think, 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 what is the main topic of this book? Is the main topic giraffes? No. Is the main topic things that go? No. Is the main topic North America? No. The main topic is South America. It is because on every page in this book, we learned about something different that makes South America special. So now I have something special to show you. We are going to look at this poster of all the special things that South America has. 
and I need you to help me label the different things on the poster. Today we learned about South America. We learned about... Good. South America has lots of things that make it special. We're going to look at these animals first. If you remember what the animal is called, shout it out when I point to it. Are you ready? Set. Go. Pink dolphin. Oof, that was a cool one. I'm going to label it pink dolphin. Get ready. Here comes another one. What is that animal? You're right. That's a monkey. And it has a special name. It's a howler monkey. Say howler monkey. Good. Here's another amazing animal in South America. What is that called? Yeah, you got it. That's a llama. All right, one more animal. Oh, this beautiful bird. What is that called? Oh, kids, you guys are too smart. I can't even keep up with you. This is a parrot, and it's called a scarlet macaw. Now this is a picture of what South America looks like. And now we're gonna label some special places that South America has that no other place has. This is a desert, say desert. Yes, and this desert is called the Atacama Desert. It's so dry, you can see the ground is all cracked because there is no water in the desert. This is a river in South America that is the second longest, and it's called the, who remembers? Who, do you remember? You do! It's called the, it's called the Amazon River. And last but not least, this is a very old city where people used to live in Peru. Do you remember what it's called? It's kind of, sounds kind of cool. You do. Machu Picchu. So, today, what I want you to do at home is think about something that you would like to see if you visited South America. It might be a pink dolphin, or a howler monkey, or a llama, or a desert. And I want you to draw a picture and write a sentence about what you would visit if you were in South America. You can also take a video and send it to your teachers telling them about what you would visit in South America. I can't wait to learn about more continents with you. See you later, Kipsters.